So what's up guys? I've had a lot of people asking me, hey man, what do you do for a living? Seriously, because you say you travel a lot. Well, I can't actually tell you everything because there's a lot of confidentiality to it, but um, I work with the juvenile uh, court system. Um, I work for an organization where if you have juveniles that got themselves into trouble, they broke the law, what have you, they go through the court, the judge says you're going with him, then I take them and bring them into our organization and get them the help that they need. It could range anywhere from, uh, you know, you know, Bobby, for some reason, robbed Granny, the grandma that's walking up the sidewalk in the city or something and, and decided to, you know, steal her purse or, or what have you. Um, it could be a child that no longer wants to go to school. They keep skipping school. They're a runaway or the parents just can't handle it anymore. The, the child is just out of control. So then what happens is uh, some, in some cases you have a parent, the parents may turn them in, okay, because they can no longer handle them. They're either staying out all night, uh, they may be doing drugs or, or what have you. You have kids that um, get busted for drugs. Um, but the organization is a wonderful organization and there are so many different programs that help these kids. And I, I gotta be honest with you, man, I'm honored to work for this organization because, you know, somebody has to do it and you have to care. And, you know, some kids, some cases can be pretty bad. All right, they can be pretty bad. You could have, uh, you could have parents that are not responsible at all. In other words, they could be drug addicts or what have you, and they just can't care for the child. Now, I'm talking, in most cases, these are teenagers, okay? These are could be 13 years old all the way up to 20. Um, if a child has nowhere to go, well, the state has to, you know, come in and they have to care for that child so that's pretty much what I do um, in some cases you have um, a little more uh, serious offenses where yeah then I would have to handcuff shackle and take them to one of our secure units um, which trust me I don't I hate doing that I hate handcuffing I hate shackling but you know you got to do what you got to do they're a high risk you have um but all in all okay it's a great organization you have therapists counselors um you know it's one-on-one -on -one. uh they take them and they 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 see a doctor to to see where their health is and and just to care for them to take care of their needs and to help um you know to help get them back to feeling like they are worth something okay um, so I would say with our organization you probably have about 97 98 percent the percentage of kids that do extremely well um, by coming in they they attend school we have school for them um, a lot of kids are moving on to college uh, the organization actually helps uh, provide uh, them to go to college um, so you know it's it's one of those things man you know where you may have some really crazy bizarre crazy cases and it isn't any different than it's like a paramedic or a police officer to where you pull up to a head-on crash and there are things that you see that may um, may affect you in a lot of ways but another example is the same as a doctor if a doctor has somebody on the operating room or somebody say was brought in from a head-on crash and they're trying to save their life and that person passed you have to move on with your job. You can't allow those things to affect you because you've done everything you possibly could. Now, 
basically what I mean by that is um, you hear about a lot of really bizarre cases and you have to just continue to move on okay but one of the things that I do when I first meet uh, the juvenile I, uh, I talk to them okay if we're on our, our ride back it may be a four and a half hour ride for the for the juvenile just talk to them you know and uh, you know I don't really care what I usually tell the juvenile and this is I mean this from my heart that I don't care what you did that doesn't mean anything to me I don't care what you did this is here and now okay you put that behind you okay that's dead and gone what is done is done okay let's focus on moving forward now let's let's move forward for to get you get you to where you need to be and you know a lot of the kids for the most part they're really good kids it's just that they got caught up maybe with the wrong crowd or they got caught up just not thinking straight you know they may be under a lot of pressure at home or and in some cases you don't know why they did it and they can't even explain to you why they did it so um there you have it y'all okay which brings me to another topic that really grabbed my heart and that was traveling to the philippines when i'm in the philippines and i see these street kids it breaks my heart to know that you have parents that'll just throw their kid out on the street and walk away now I can understand it to an extent because one maybe it's too difficult for you 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 can't provide for this child for the child because you can't even provide for yourself but I don't understand how you could just throw your flesh and blood out on the street and just bolt like you just disappear not having a care in the world about what might happen to that child I've had many kids come up to me tugging at the back of my shirt wanting money uh, and you know my wife my wife being there my wife says don't give them anything because you know sometimes you have parents that actually train their kids to do this but you know I didn't realize that there was such a, a problem with our juveniles until I started working with this company and you know it breaks your heart there's a lot of hurting kids out there man there's a lot of kids going through an awful lot of stuff and um, you don't really pay mind to it you know you'll walk through the malls and you'll see kids having fun with their friends you know but once they walk through that door at home it's a whole different thing because you just don't know what a lot of kids are facing and what they're going through now there's a percentage of parents that don't do the right thing okay they they um you know don't don't get me wrong i'm not putting parents down okay but but i see it every day Okay, I see it every day and um, so you just have to do the best you can you know with with these kids so that's pretty much what I do y'all um, I'm very busy with that I'm on the road a lot um, I travel all over Pennsylvania I go into Ohio I go to Delaware go wherever is needed wherever is needed and uh, I wouldn't change my job for anything you know, I wouldn't change it for anything. Um, you know, there's nothing better than, than seeing a kid that you brought in. And for them to get the help that they need. And then to see that this child is moving on to go to college. Or is in college. Or is coming out of the program because they've done extremely well. You have kids that want the help. You have kids that don't want the help. Um, it is what it is. But I tell all the all the kids that, you know, it lies in your hands. It's entirely up to you. 
It's either you want things to be better for you or you don't want things better for you. You could either uh, give everybody a hard time and say that, you know, you're not my boss, you're not my parent, you're not this, you're not that, or you could take advantage of these great programs that the organization has and become something greater than and see something in yourself that you never knew that you had. So that's what I do, y'all. Um, but I wanted to bring up also about the Philippines because that really bothered me. And it still does when I go over. It just bothers me to see that. You know, it's just very disturbing. Um, and they're, they're left on the street. I mean, you usually see kids in groups or you may see a few kids at a time that are just hanging together because they're there for each other. Okay. And a lot of these kids end up trying to steal things because they don't have any other source. They don't have any other way of, you know, getting food or drinks. I just don't understand it but that's what I do for a living so leave me some comments tell me what you do and uh, hit that bell you know that bell that's right there beside the subscribe button hit that bell so that you know when I'm popping up these new videos and uh, don't forget to leave a comment subscribe and I appreciate and love each and every one of you guys that have become part of my channel and um, look for more decent videos coming your way and I say decent because they're just usually decent they're not the best videos but um, I do my best so keep it real love the ones you're with and I'll talk to you guys real soon -o. bye bye